Hi everybody, it's still November, still November 28, 2018. I'm going to start with this video because this video is really important. And then I'm going to go on to a site that has a map that gives 360 views of the homes targeted by this so-called wildfire. This site actually is all the, it's all the evidence that one needs to realize that homes and cars were targeted and it was not a wild fire. But let's first listen to this. When there's an overwhelming amount of loss, like we're seeing in Butte County, there's so many people in need, so it can be hard to know what you can do to make a difference. This Rockland couple decided to adopt a family, helping them to get by after their home burned in a campfire. Now they're helping others to do the same. In paradise, house after house is gone, and with so much devastation, how does a community rise up after a disaster when almost everyone has lost everything? There are no neighbors. Everybody's lost their home. So it's, it's just people like us that need to help them. Inspired to do something, Eric Lofholm saw a friend's post about a family that lost multiple homes in the campfire. He and his wife reached out and offered to help them directly. And I can't help thousands of people, but I can help one family. One of the family members Lofholm reached out to sent us this photo of his burned down home. And he also relived the traumatic experience of escaping paradise. I'm still suffering PTSD from it. Propane tanks exploding everywhere, people screaming. We had people in the back of the vehicle with us that were crying and almost throwing up because of everything going on. After seeing the impact they could have on one family, the Loft Homes decided to start a Facebook page and a website that would make it easy for others around the world to do the same. People are commenting here, sharing their stories and connecting. In the week since Paradise Fire Adopt a Family launched, it has taken off. And I think a lot of people right now, um, they go, I want to help, but I'm not sure what to do. And so one thing you can do is just help one family. It's a place for people to give and receive help, whether it's material items, a warm bed, or emotional support. Paradise needs it all right now. And this platform is showing people have a lot to give at a time when so much is needed. I think human beings in general at their core, they absolutely want to help. And after just about a week, that Facebook page has more than 7,000 members in it, and it's growing by the hour, and there have been lots of acts of kindness. One woman on that page actually opened her home to fire victims, people she did not know, and Loft Home says Ashley Furniture actually reached out to him, wanting to donate about 100 twin beds, and the acts of kindness go on. So anyone can pitch in to help or to seek help through their website or their Facebook. We'll have those links on our website, fox40.com. All right, good. So go to the Facebook page, become a member of that Facebook page. And those of you in Northern California, reach out to help. It's not 7,000 or 6,700 homes. We've got more than 11,000 homes gone brought to dust. Even this video itself, those who watch this video should have seen something is very wrong. Something is very, very wrong here. Every home, every home brought to dust by a wildfire. The homes are gone, decimated, and people aren't wondering. This isn't begging questions. How does a wildfire leave nothing, nothing? You don't see any of the beams. You don't see, you see dust. You see home footprints that are dust. How does that happen? Okay, just want to point out, this is on a plain truth dot infos channel. Posted yesterday, 3,619 views. This was posted after, but yesterday too, 11,000 views. What all can do 
acts of compassion what all can do. You know what I've noticed? Not just on my channel, but any title that suggests um, that someone is in need and or the help in the title, very few views. We do have to change. So I want to bring you to this Butte County, Butte County Recovers.org. Butte County is actually providing the evidence that this fire was not a wildfire. I have one page open and look at all of these homes. Now, I guess these were flying embers that were so big and dropped on these homes and brought them all to dust except for these homes. It got a row of these homes on all sides but just not these. The fire didn't touch any of these. Notice how clean the streets are. Where'd the wire, wildfire come from? Where? These 360 views. Where did the wildfire come from? So we're to believe that these flying embers, now we're hearing they travel miles and miles and miles and miles, and they're the size of softballs, and they're hitting these homes. An ember that takes out more than 11,000 homes. Those homes turn to dust, and we're to believe that a wildfire did this? Where did the wildfire come in this community? that leveled all of these homes and turned them to dust in 24 hours. Are you kidding me? Do you feel like you're shell-shocked? Like your brain is in a permanent state of incomprehensibility. It just doesn't know how to comprehend the world that we're living in today. All you have to do is press on a 360 and you'll get image after image after image of decimated homes. All of these homes brought to dust, but the 360, where did the fire come from? Where? Are you telling me that this fire leaped over a whole lot of mileage to just target these homes in 24 hours to bring them to dust. Really? Really? That's what we're to believe. What causes the shell shock, the incredulity that you just, there's no, you can't reason, you can't, there's nothing. You're just left with a whole lot of Americans that believe the abject horse shit that they are told by their governors, gov government officials, fire officials, mainstream media. Right, that's it. We're just supposed to believe this. And it's so, the obviousness of it being an abject lie, that's when life becomes scary. This was not a wildfire. No evidence of fire at all in these areas, except maybe this area. But so the wildfire, I guess, this gray right here came up through this area, touched on this, stopped though apparently. Well, 
I guess it was all flying embers. Look at that tower. I guess it was all flying embers that got those homes. Right? And this structure. Wow. Okay. Vegetation looks pretty good. The 360 view, again, had the fire get to these homes. Just leaped, I don't know, did it leap over all of this vegetation and just target these homes? Don't you feel like your brain is just going to explode? Like nothing makes sense anymore? Nothing makes sense anymore. A wildfire does not bring to dust more than 11,000 homes. A wildfire doesn't just target structures that are surrounded by trees. Oh, these the, the uh, trunks of these trees look a little brown. But it left pretty much everything else intact, except, well, these homes. All of these trees are fine. So we had flying embers taking the same trajectory and they landed on these homes right here, missing all of the trees. And those are mighty, mighty powerful embers to literally decimate a home in 24 hours. Oh, not just one, more than 11,000. Now this looks wildfire-ish. Right? Yeah. That's what wildfires do. Wildfires don't do this. They don't just, <laughs> it, it, sometimes I feel like if I just keep talking, I'll be able to reason something. If I just, I don't know, keep, you know, keep on it, keep talking. It, it, somehow something is going to be injected into my brain that I'll be able to understand. The lunacy that is taking place in our country but it never comes to fruition. So these homes too, fire misses all of these trees, dust, 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 dust slabs. All right, I'm gonna link below. There are a lot of views. Wow. Okay. So, embers. Must have been embers. Couldn't have been a wildfire. The embers flew miles and just happened to have dropped on this home that is surrounded by trees. This home, surrounded by trees. This home. And this. And this one. And this one. And this one. Missing these, but getting this one and this one and this one. No. 
we will see more and more of people losing everything. Why? Because we don't have our populace in a condition that can fight anything. We're left with no army to work with. It's really a very sad day. It is so sad what is taking place in our country. I, every day, I'm like, just feels like my head's going to explode. For those of you who are posting videos on evidence, I would take a look at this site. Because these pictures sure do speak a thousand words. And those words are very different from the official narrative that Americans are hearing. I, I'm going to make a plea to Americans who may come across this video and you're still believing what you're hearing from Jerry Brown and mainstream media on these fires. Please, please look at this. And get that wildfires do not operate this way. They just don't. And anybody can see this is not from a wild fire. Wildfires do not rip through communities and leave dust slabs of every home and it sure doesn't happen in 24 hours and the high winds and all of these fires and the streets are completely clean You are needed. You are needed in this fight. And if you just continue to call people names and think they're crazy, please get that you are complicit. in the destruction of people's lives. You can't just go around denying the obvious every single day and then absolve yourself of responsibility for what is taking place. All links are below.